We're at it again, guys. It's toy hunting time. We've decided to go to the big shopping centre in Sheffield and look at all these Jawas on the shelf. Oh my god! Lots of Jawari goodness. What the? Might have to pick some of those bad boys up for the collection. At three pound on as well. They're perfect as well. Mrs. Super Soul and Super Soul Junior gonna go check out the dolls while I check out the pop situation. Let's see if they've got anything new today. I don't think they do, but the looks of things. But it's always worth double checking, isn't it? A lot of uh, Fortnite stuff. Although they do now seem to have the new Spider Man Spider Verse stuff in. That didn't take long to get to Entertainer, did it? So, Entertainer's gone a bit weird now. So, like, all the pops were £6 something the other day when I came in. Now they've all got individual stickers on. They have new stuff that are marked up at a tenner. And then they've got discounted stuff marked up at six quid. So, it just depends what you're after, really. So, definitely um, check out the sort of like the things they have on display and stuff. They have lots and lots of new sort of pops and stuff at the moment. Oh my god, this shop's in a right state. Oh my god, how old is that? Emma Frost. Wow, where's Chameleon hiding? Is he there somewhere as well? There's the Falcon there. We've already got that one. Oh look, a Shuri. Two Shuris to be precise. Oh, Darth Maul's on the shelf along with some other goodies here, including the... Uh, Jin Erso um, st statue. Nah. But Darth Maul's still here, and there's a whole wave of Darth Maul. So, this is uh, Sheffield if anyone needs one. Definitely worth going, you know, worth going grabbing one of these. Not bad at all. Yeah, £17.50 is not bad for that whatsoever. And they've got a bunch of other Star Wars stuff, but nothing that's really catching my eye at this point. It's all pretty old, and there is the uh, vintage three-inch lines, but nah. Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, is there anything behind him? No. Just lots and lots of Obi-Wans. Which is a shame. I would love to see um, an Anakin in here one day. I'd love to hope to hopefully find an Anakin one day, but I doubt it's ever going to happen. But Anakin is getting a re-release, so we shouldn't be too glum about that. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! What is in this little random box? Ooh! It's like the like little mystery minis of the Power Rangers from all across the eras. However, in this particular series, there's a Goldar, but there's no Tommy or Jason, so it's going back in the box. Bye bye, Power Rangers! Although they do have some of the vehicles in there. Nice. Ooh, they have Power Rangers though, and it's the uh, 25th anniversary ones with the unmasked heads. I kind of like them, they had most of the set there. Oh, Mary Poppins as well. They really have got some new stuff in recently. Oh, the exclusive Jasmine in the red dress as well. Wow. They really are going all out now. They're getting some exclusives in. Special edition there, McCree as well. Wasn't that a Smith's exclusive not that long ago? They seem to be getting stuff in left, right and centre. Oh, Black Bolt as well and Lockjaw. And a Chase 11. This is Red 5 now where we're at. And they have a bunch of stuff on display that I love filming the cabinets. Oh, there, it, the clown has fallen over. Pennywise has fallen over. The big Groot there as well. I wonder how much that big Groot would set us back. Ah, 54.99, you can keep it. It's cheaper in Smiths. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy Red 5. But what else did they have? Anything else cool around here? Bendy and the Ink Machines everywhere. I've never played it. Is it any good? Can anybody tell me about Indy and the uh, Bendy, whatever it was called? Bendy and the Ink Machine? Because I can never find out about it. Ooh, Gringotts. Is it Gringotts? I'm pretty sure it's Gringotts. Are you going to tell me it's something else, though, now, aren't you, in the comments below? <laughs> well, that, that was a cool money box, though. I would like that for display purposes. You couldn't even see the coin slot. That's just nice for display. Pac Man lights there. Lots of other lights and stuff. So this is Avalon now. They have tons of collectibles, including an entire shelf of Stranger Things, which is awesome. Living Dead Dolls It at the top there. Chucky Dolls, The Exorcist, Mafex. Mm, lots of stuff. Oh, excuse me, Deadpool. And if you look in this cabinet here as well, you can see that we've got Thanos, that big statue. I have to check that out at Christmas. I nearly bought it as well pre-Christmas. Ooh, that Harley Quinn's nice. I like that animated series, Harley Quinn. What else have we got in here? There's a bunch of DC stuff. Oh, Marvelicious. Look at this. Beast and Cyclops and Wolverine. Jubilee up top as well. They look really cool for display. 
I know they're not articulated or anything, but you know what? They would look cool on a shelf. I like that magic as well. She looks awesome. I try and replicate that same style with mine, but I can never get her to do it properly. With my Marvel Legends one. Plenty of Dragon Ball Z stuff to shake a stick at. I don't watch Dragon Ball Z though, sadly. Everyone says I should. I've never given it a try. Is it worth a watch, that series? Let us know in the comments. Still lots of alien stuff there. I think the Ahab Predator's gone though now. That's a shame. Freddy Krueger living dead doll there, as well as the Jason version as well. I don't know that's a living dead doll though, I think that's just a Jason doll. Very similar to living dead dolls though. The mega figurine. Ooh, Leatherface Necker there as well. I don't have a Leatherface, I still need to grab me one. He's one of the only villains I don't have now, from the 80s icons. And we're in HMV now. Now, HMV are going, you know, they are going under, possibly. So it's always worth double checking in here, because if they do decide to go under, they might have some uh, pops for cheap. So it's worth checking uh, if you hear any news about uh, HMV. Still not been able to get my points and get on the website and claim my points that I've been collecting for over the past year. It's a bit annoying. The, the, the website's down for maintenance. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> They just don't want any of us trading in his points because they can't give us money. Uh, I also noticed that above the shop, um, above the till, it says that you can no longer return items. You will not get a re refund of money. It's for refund of goods. So they can only give you goods back in return at this point, which is a bit of a pain. Mrs. Super Sorrel here posing with the Funkos. <laughs> she really, really li likes those Funkos. Um, the Harry Potter ones are definitely up her street. I'm I like Harry Potter. I prefer I do like the Fantastic Beast movies, but um, I'm not as into Fantastic Beast as she is. Oh, what has she found? I can't remember what that was called. Was it was it Arthur or something? No, that's not Arthur. I can't remember. It was a Disney program anyway, but I can't remember it for the life of me at this point. Apparently, Mrs. Super Sorrel can. <laughs> <laughs> But no, there's nothing here that's tickling my fancy really at all. Which is a shame really, because there's a lot of Funkos here on the shelf. Lots and lots of Funkos. They have so many at HMV that they have to turn them all sideways so you can't even see the actual product. You're going off the actual bo box display, which is a, a bit weird. Uh, what else we got around here? Nothing here. They've got a bunch of the Disney books. They're all marked down to four ninety nine. I've read one of them. I've read the uh, Sleeping Beauty one. I've not read the rest. Tempted to pick some up for some pre-Christmas... Pre-Christmas? Christmas has gone, Sorrel. Pre-Disney <laughs> reading. With us going away in March, it might be nice to fresh up on some of those stories. Especially as these are the alternate takes from the villain's point of view. Lots of books there. What else have we got? We've got more Funkos. Look at this wall of Funko. Ooh, they've got the Deadpool and Cable 2 pack there. They've got the... What else we can't see? Oh, we've got so many. So many pops to look at. Oh my lord. They had the Venom uh, Cap Captain America there. I always like that Venom Eyes series, but I want them to come down in price a little bit. Oh, it's the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's time to duel. <laughs> what else can we find up top? We've got the uh, Supersonic there with the exclusive sticker for HMV. Um, we've got the Oh Wreck It Ralph and Vanellope Vinyl 2 pack along with the Han and Lando 2 pack. So that's pretty cool. I do like them. I love the style of them. I just can't bring myself to pay twenty four ninety nine for them. It should be twenty, right? Why? Why is it twenty four? The Scott Pilgrim one though is awesome with Ramona Flowers. I'd love that one. A Game Boy, um, a Game Boy watch there. That's weird. Not a watch, a clock. Deadpool mugs. Lots of geeky pint pots. Ooh, the Suicide Squad one could be cool. And there's a Batman one with the Joker Wanted sign on it. That's pretty cool. I like that. The Superheroes uh, Blu-ray and DVD shelf here, but there's nothing out at the moment that I want. Oh, here we go again with those. Oh, no, I've dropped it on the floor. And we've got the It Pennywise five-star figure here. I really like these. I'm just waiting for them to drop a little bit more in price. $14.99. Why? Should be a tenner. It's smaller than a pop. <laughs> It's just in a fancy box. Come on, Funko. And it's even by Funko. I won't mind if it wasn't by Funko, but it is by Funko. And the Chucky 5-star here as well. That's pretty cool. I like that one. 
Again, I would collect these. I'm just waiting for the prices to hit more. Maybe get a two for 20 offer on these. Because they've got plenty of Pennywise and plenty of Chucky. No Freddy or Jason in any of the shops I go to, though. Them Shining Twins, they're still $39.99. Why? There's a Chase variant of them as well that I would really love, but I can never get my hands on. And when I do see it, it's usually in a collectible shop for about 60 quid. Insane. Some Gremlins pops up there. Oh, the new singing dolls from the Disney store. They've released even more. We've now got Ariel, Sleeping Beauty, and I think they had Snow White in that range as well, and Jasmine. Nice. They all sing songs now, which is kind of fun. Although they do just keep re-releasing the exact same doll with a slightly different dress and just give it another another accessory. <laughs> and then it doesn't stop us buying them, though, does it? <laughs> oh, Emperor Zerg! Love me some Emperor Zerg. I would put the audio on in the background, but it's the Disney star and they are playing music pretty loud and I would get copy striked left, right and centre. So we'd have to listen to me prattle on for another five minutes or so. <laughs> Looking at this shelf though, there's nothing really much here since we were last in here. Nothing new, no Stitch, no Mini, no Venom and no Iron Man. Damn. Although they do have the Spider-Man, Spider, Spider-Man. But again, £34. Can't be spending that on that. Bye-bye. Back you go. He'll be on sale one day. Oh, look what we've got here. This looks familiar. I got both of these in Disney World about five years, three, no, three years ago now. We've got Lumiere, which lights up, and we've also got the Cogsworth one. They were sold at the new Fantasyland in Florida. Uh, we picked both those up when the uh, when the new land opened, and they were really cool. But now they've they've reached the actual Disney stores, and I think Primark had them in for a while as well. Ooh, the Wreck-It Ralph merch is in full effect, but. St Still, that doll collection is still marked up at £100. Did you see that they're releasing the Elsa and Anna ones now as well in a three-pack with the Vanellope? I kind of want it. It's only £20. It's not in store yet, though. I'll let you know if that hits shelf soon. And the final stop of the day, it's another glass box case for us to look through. And look, Harlequin Skull. I kind of want that. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my toy hunts. You asked for more of them, so I'm giving you more of them. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're new around here, smash that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. It would really support us, really help us out, and help us to keep making awesome videos. I'm sorry that I forgot to record an intro and outro to this video. So I hope my voice has been enough to keep you entertained. Anyways, guys, see you in the next one. Bye!